Queen Millie, the shy and somewhat eccentric gray tabby cat, had always been more interested in the art of camouflage than in the royal duties of her domain. Her fur, a masterful blend of cloud shadows and twilight whispers, was her pride and joy, primarily because it allowed her to blend seamlessly with the castle's stone walls during hide-and-seek sessions with the court jesters. One day, stirred by a peculiar dream involving a fish-shaped cloud conversing in meows, Millie decided that her destiny lay beyond the overgrown catnip gardens of her kingdom. She had heard whispers carried on the breeze of the legendary enchanted forest of endless tuna, a place where the streams flowed with the finest spring water, lightly flavored with tuna essence and trees bore leaves of premium catnip. With the stealth of a ninja and the determination of a cat on a mission to find that one perfect sunspot, Millie set forth. Her first challenge was not a dragon or a moat, but the great plains of the open backyard, ruled by the notorious Pigeon Patrol. These birds were known for their uncanny ability to spot a cat from a mile away and their remarkable talent for leaving gifts on unsuspecting visitors. Millie, understanding the art of negotiation, offered them a peace treaty in the form of a stale loaf of bread she had borrowed from the palace kitchens. The pigeons, intrigued by this gesture of goodwill and the prospect of free food, granted Millie safe passage but not before performing an aerial dance that left her covered in a few parting gifts. Millie, ever the dignified queen, merely shook her fur with grace, deciding that a little pigeon decor never hurt any royal reputation. Next on her quest was the treacherous river of unsteady stones. To her dismay, the stones were as wobbly as a kitten on its first adventure out of the basket. Each step, was a gamble in the game of wet paws, a game Millie had always loathed. But with the cunning of a cat who had mastered the art of escaping bath time, she navigated the river with only minor splashes, each accompanied by a delicate squeak that she would later deny ever making. As the sun dipped lower, painting the sky in shades of tuna, er, orange and pink, Millie stood before the enchanted forest of endless tuna. The scent was overwhelming, a gourmet feast for the nose that led her deeper into the forest with a blissful, slightly dazed expression. Here, she encountered the forest's guardian, a wise old owl with a peculiar obsession with riddles and an even more peculiar lack of knowledge about cats. Answer me this, hooted the owl puffing up its feathers in an attempt to appear more intimidating and succeeding only in looking slightly more fluffy. What creature walks on four legs in the morning, two legs at noon, and three legs in the evening? Millie, pausing in her tracks, blinked slowly. A cat, she declared with the confidence of someone who knew eight out of ten problems could be solved by taking a nap. A cat who finds a toy mouse in the morning loses interest by noon and by evening is playing with it again. But this time, while also inexplicably carrying a stick, the owl, utterly confused by this logic yet unable to refute it, allowed her passage. Deep within the forest, Millie found not just the endless tuna, but a realization. The world was full of bizarre riddles, peculiar pigeons, and wobbly stones, all of which were far more entertaining than she'd ever imagined. Upon her return, Millie was not just a queen. She was a queen adorned with pigeon gifts, a legend among the pigeon patrol, and the only cat to ever outwit the owl of the enchanted forest with cat logic. Her tales of adventure and misadventure became the stuff of legend, inspiring even the most timid of kittens to explore the world beyond their windows. And as for the enchanted forest of endless tuna, well, Millie would often gaze out towards the horizon, a twinkle in her eye, whiskers twitching with amusement as she planned her next visit. For in her heart she knew the greatest adventure wasn't just in finding the forest, but in discovering the joy, laughter, and occasional pigeon gift along the way.